Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited to sit with you mamas as I'm going to be sharing some of our science and nature resource books that we love. And I uh, can't wait to show you the stack that's hanging out with me today. So if you'd like to see more, let's get started. Hey you, did you hit that play button for the very first time? Or are you returning uh, to this channel? Well, welcome, I'm Tasha. This is Tasha Pivots, where we talk about all things mamahood and homeschool and how I'm pivoting through this journey. And I am so grateful that you decided to spend this time with me. Um, we are gearing up and wrapping up this school year in the next couple of weeks and then we're taking a nice little break and then we're jumping right back in as we are a year uh, around homeschooling family and i shared with you guys last month our science and nature pick for uh our homeschooling year for 2021 2022 which is our seashore animals with simple studies and i am so excited for the resource books that we have now first i want to share that why do we have resource books? Why do I even have them? Um, honestly, for me, I love being able to give my children as much visual aid as possible. And if you have been following me on Instagram, you have seen a lot of my Insta stories where I will do a flow of the day. You guys will see them sitting and there's like books scattered with all of their different activities or like it's just books on that specific subject. So if we're learning about frogs, you've got frogs almost all covering our entire homeschooling table. And I love that because it gets them excited about seeing this visual thing up close and personal. I get their magnifying glasses out, their nature journals out. Um, sometimes we put our goggles on. And so we love just fully embracing um, this opportunity to learn and grow. And I feel that the resource books really elevate that. So I have some that are for our science and nature for the fall. Uh, some of them are already books I've already carried. And then I think there's only one that I actually picked up and I recently shared it with you guys briefly. So it'll just be kind of like a reminder or a reiteration of it. Uh, but I also have two other special things that after I share these, I want to share with you guys. And that is our pick for our nature journal. Um, okay, so let's get into it. The first one is the one I was mentioning that I recently purchased within this school year, and that is the Julia Rothman Ocean Anatomy. I shared that I have the other three books, which is the Farm Anatomy, the Nature Anatomy, um, what is the other one? Food Anatomy. And my daughter loves, loves, loves those books. Like Zoe literally will grab them on her own time and just flip through them. They've got some great facts in there. They've got, she's got so many great pictures. So I'm going to show you this one and stop talking so much. <laughs> but look inside, you guys can see these are all watercolored and I'm just going to peek over and let you know if you didn't know, I'm kind of biased and I love watercolors. So you're going to see a lot of that. Anyway, <laughs> Um, here we go. This is what we're going to be looking at and seeing. Uh, I love all the color. I love the whimsiness of this. And um, I love that there's just little facts and it's subtle, but it's still informative. And, you know, and at first when these came out, I know that it seemed like it was the huge kind of hype, but it's worth it. And I think even for an adult, they would enjoy to have it in their collection of just random facts. Um, and so... I love the size of them and I'm excited to add this to our collection and really explore it during our science and nature this year. Next up I have, I purchased this a couple of years ago, I believe from Barnes and Noble and this one is called Habitats and it is the animals who live in them. This is a great resource book if you are just not even doing simple studies, you're not doing a year of learning, you're just loving, your kid right now is just obsessed with monkeys. And you want to show them the different habitats that the monkeys live in. Um, this is one of those books that I think is a great resource. It has no words and it's just visual aid. So this is great when you have like a toddler who's in the classroom with you. Or you've got even a baby, honestly. If a baby's sitting there and you know you're doing a lesson with your older kids, you can kind of just share with them and let them look at it and they can go oh, and point to it. 
Um, I will say there's a lot of spiders, so if you are like me and have a hard time with the, that creature, uh, just prepare yourself. Uh, but yes, I found this. I will link all books down in the description below, as always, so you guys can check these out. Uh, but this has been great. My kids, one day, we just like, they just grabbed it and they didn't do anything else. They sat there for like a good 45 minutes, just going from page to page, looking at all the different animals. And I love, love, love that. And so this is going to be a great resource for our science and nature as we continue next year. Next up is another book that the author, I feel like, one, he's awesome, but second, it's like he blew up all over the homeschool space. I was seeing it in giveaways, I was seeing it in just classrooms, in people's bookshelves. And at first ours, we just bought one because it was a year of learning recommendation for us doing, um, I think it was, it was a year in a hundred acre woods and it was the big book of beast. And so if you're like, yes, I know who that is. Yuval Zomberg created the entire series of the big book of whatever it is. And we are adding the big book of blue into our collection for the fall. Uh, we were actually were gifted this from a friend and uh, we are excited to utilize these books. They are pretty large. Like I'm having to turn this so you guys can see the full thing. But he's got a couple of different ones. He's got the big book of bugs, a big book of blooms, a big book of beast, and a big book of blue. So uh, I love this because one, first of all, if y'all can see, it's watercolored down all the way through. It is such a beautiful book. It gives you just so much color and detail to these animals. And it also gives you little areas of facts and also questions. Um, and so my girls are going to love utilizing this as they're learning about the seashore animals next year. And um, I will, again, link their, his whole collection down below so you guys can check him out. And if you're on Instagram, you can follow him on there. Uh, but yes, the Big Book of Blue is going to be such a great addition. And now if you can see, I kind of have a lot of watercolor because I'm biased. But then also that Habitat book, if you're like, I want my child to actually see the real thing and it not to be too subtle, then that Habitat book and books like it would be great. And the other two I'm about to show you do just that. Now, uh, the next two, first I want to say, first and foremost, these are older editions. I don't want to link even the Amazon version of it because it's just ridiculous in price. Uh, and that's what happened to me when I first was looking up one of these. I was like, I can't afford this. Like, that's like five to six books that I could purchase for just that one. Even though I know it's like a resource book and I know that it's going to be filled with a bunch of things, I just still couldn't justify it. So uh, I took myself to half price books, y'all, and Jesus blessed me. <laughs> So the first one and the one I'm talking about is The World of Animals. This is a hunk of a book. I don't even know what year it's written in. I think it's like 2001. Um, but this was the book. When I looked on Amazon, I think it was like $65 or something of that nature. And I took myself to half price and I started digging y'all and they had a whole section of these, like a good, a good row. $8. Mm-hmm. $8. I sure did snag me one. Um, so if you have something like that, Half Price Books is like a reusable um, space where they take books and they, they sell books, but they also take reused or gently used books and uh, movies and all kinds of things. And it's become one of our favorites to go to when we're really looking for resource books or we're looking for something that's going to be just on a particular topic. And so uh, this book is kind of like your encyclopedia of all the animals. It's got a little bit of everything in the pictures um, and it's full of facts. So this is great. I was actually, reason for my even looking for this was because it was a recommendation um, and a requirement kind of uh, for the year of learning as one of the resource books to use throughout the entire uh, time that you're learning. Uh, doing a year of learning for the curriculum for the year. And so that's why I ended up with this one. Um, and then we loved it. We love pulling this out when Zoe's doing anatomy search uh, on certain animals and she just wants to know little details about them right here. 
the next one, if you've been following me on Instagram for some time, then you've seen this book. I've had a lot of people DM me every time they see this book open. And again, it's an older edition, and that is the National Geographic Encyclopedia of Animals. And this book has been such a treasure in our home. We can find almost a little bit of everything. I love the sections. I love how the index is clear when you're looking for a specific animal. You go to that index, it gives you the page number and it is exactly there. You're not having to scan multiple pages to find it. It's right there for you. And so I'm gonna give you kind of just a um, area. It's got some you know, facts in there. I don't expect anything less from our National Geographic people. Um, but then it also just has some great realistic pictures. Like that one's just busy, busy. Okay, let's see. No, there we go. So um, this one has over 1,500 species and illustrations. It has ranges of maps, like where you're gonna find them and locate them. So if you're doing more of like a geographic thing, this one's great as well as the World of Animals and this Habitat book. Both of them are gonna help you when you're doing animals in a specific region. Um, I think those are all great options. And so those are our resource books that we'll be using in the fall. And I'm sure we're going to continuously have them. That's why they're in our library. And then last but not least, I wanted to share with you guys our science and nature journal cho the choice for this year. I'm really excited because last year I kind of just simplified and I didn't really go looking for a proper nature journal. I just bought like those primary journals where the first half of it, it's got the little window for you to be able to draw something and then it's just got lines, right? And the only thing for me for time consuming, it was a little time consuming, to be honest with you. Having to write, remind her to write her date, then to have a section where I had to pre-read whatever I was gonna read or pre-ask some questions and then list it. And so I always had to go in there and then it took up some of the lines for when she needed to fill in her facts, okay? So I ended up um, this past, I wanna say holiday, I really just started looking up and trying to research and find a really good nature journal. And I found from my good, good friends on social media, as well as just like, I think I've been following her for some time and I didn't even realize she had a nature journal. I saw all of the other resources and that's Twig and Moth. Um, look at this, look how cute it is. Um, you can order this on Amazon or you can order it from her Etsy shop. And I love it because it's thin, but it's packed and it just fits perfectly in a backpack if we're going for a nature trail. Um, it fits if we are just gonna be sitting at the table and she's got her books and she can write. Um, and then I love, 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 I can't say it more enough than how it is actually built out inside. I'm gonna try to do it close up so you guys can see. She can see in that corner that says the date so I don't have to write it anymore. She's got the section for her to draw her picture. And then she has a few questions here and enough lines to fill it in. And then if she wants to write more or even uh, illustrate more, she has a section for there as well. Uh, this is, it says on here, um, location, time, observations, the weather, and then if she has any questions that we can maybe come back to the table and maybe talk about and research and dig through. So I'm really excited about her utilizing this and then more of what I saw today so she gets to draw other things or I always love them to have physical tangible things. So if she picks up some leaves and she wants to glue them in here, tape them in here, whatever, she can do that with this really awesome nature journal. So this will be her journal for this coming year. And I am thinking about actually ordering an extra copy because I feel like Josephine is going to enjoy this as well um, during her preschool season. And so there's that, but you know, I can't just buy one thing. I had to go and find something else. <laughs> and that is this, the Adventure Journal. Um, I, or it's Adventure Log rather. First, everything on this speaks my daughter. This is like Zoe to a T. The only thing missing is a cat. Like, only thing missing is a cat <laughs> but she loves doing adventurous things her mind is constantly spinning on new innovations and activities going on adventures and when she's out she's exploring and she's got her goggles on she's got her magnifying glass and she's ready to go 
And so I was like, you know, she usually has like a little notepad or she's got a little notebook that she's carried in her purse. And I was like, you know, what? I really want her to have something specifically for her adventures that she can capture and list. And so this is going to be that. It has the same style and format. It's a little bit smaller, so I'll give you a side by side so you can see the width and the size. This is perfect for fitting in a little backpack um, if they're going on an adventure. So on here it says today's adventure, the date, the location, the weather condition, um, the, I think it says companions, notes, and then it says a sketch, photo, or map from this adventure, and then more notes. So if you've got a child who loves doing this type of thing, or simply that you guys are going on a road trip this summer, uh, I think this is a great find to have just for even if it's for that particular time for them to record all their findings. Um, this is really, really cool. Again, I will link all of these things that I'm sharing with you today down in the description box. Uh, what are you guys using? What is some of your resource books that you just love, you love having in your library, and you see that you keep revisiting it every time you guys are in the space of learning? Put that down in the comments below. I'd love to check that out. Also, if you've got a nature journal that you really enjoyed, that you found, I love seeing these things and love being able to share them even in my space so that other moms can also have access to it. So put that down in the comments below as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a warm thumbs up. And I am so grateful for you again for tuning in today. If you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll talk to you later.